In this lecture, I will explain how you can obtain the mathematical representation of signal waveform using a shortcut method. The shortcut method is very useful and once you follow the shortcut method, you will have the mathematical representation of any signal waveform within seconds. Now the mathematical representation which you will obtain after following the method will be the combination of ramp and step signals. The mathematical representation will be the combination of ramp and step signals. Now it is not important that always you have the combination of ramp and step signals. Sometimes you have only ramp signals in your mathematical representation and sometimes you only have step signals in your representation. So now I will write down the condition in which you will only have the ramp signal in your representation. When you have the waveform without discontinuity, it will be represented using only ramp signals. So when the waveform wave form is having no discontinuities, no discontinuities, then we can represent the waveform using only ramp signals. Now I will write down the condition in which you have only step signals in your representation. When the waveform is having the discontinuities as well as some constant values, then it can be represented only using the step signals. So the waveform this time is having discontinuities, discontinuities plus some constant values and in this scenario we can only use step signals to represent the waveform mathematically. So these two points are very important and there is one more point related to the step signals. The number of step signals used is equal to number of discontinuities. I will write this point down. The number of step signals will be same as the number of discontinuities in the signal waveform and now these points will be very much clear when we will solve two or three examples. In the first example, I will take the signal waveform which we can represent only using the ramp signals. So let's solve the first example. In the first example, signal is xt having the waveform like this and we can clearly see there is no discontinuity in the waveform. So we can represent signal xt in terms of ramp signals only because in condition number one I told you when we have any waveform with no discontinuities, we can represent the waveform in terms of ramp signals only. Now I will explain a step by step process to follow the shortcut method. In the shortcut method, we start from the left side of the waveform and we follow the signal flow like this. Initially, the flow of signal is like this. So signal xt is equal to 0 because the flow of signal is like this and the magnitude is equal to 0. Now at t equal to 0, you can see the signal is turning upward and the flow is now changed like this. This is the new flow. And whenever the signal is turning upward, we take the positive sign. So let me first write down the conventions which we have. Whenever we have upward turn, we take the positive sign and whenever we have downward turn, we take the negative sign. So these are the two important conventions and as in this case when t is equal to 0, we have the upward turn, we have taken the positive sign and now we will write down the signal which is ramp signal R t minus 0. t minus 0 because the signal waveform is passing through the origin. Now the only thing required is to find out the magnitude of the slope. Here we have already considered the sign of the slope so there is no need to worry about it. The only important thing is the magnitude and we can easily calculate the magnitude because we know this length and we know this length. y divided by x will give us the magnitude of the slope y is 2 and x is 1 so 2 by 1 will be the magnitude of the slope. Now 
when t is equal to 1 this signal flow is turning downward and we have a new flow like this and as I have already told you when the signal turns downward the sign will be negative so we have negative sign here and the signal will be ramp signal with r t minus 1 as the representation because t is equal to 1 when the signal is turning downward therefore we have r t minus 1 and the magnitude of the slope will remain same because this angle is same as this angle so the magnitude will remain 2 by 1 or simply 2 now in the next step we will simplify this and in that way we have the mathematical representation of signal xt we have 2 r t minus 2 r t minus 1 this is the answer so you can see how easily we have obtained the mathematical representation of signal by following the shortcut method now in example number 2 in example number 2 we will take the signal waveform which we can represent by only using the step signals so this is the signal waveform and you can see in this waveform there are discontinuities present for example when t is equal to minus 2 you can see signal value is changing from 0 to 3 so this is the first discontinuity and then when t is equal to 0 the signal value is again changing from 3 to 5 so this is the second discontinuity and when t is equal to 4 signal value is changing from 5 to minus 2 so this one here is the third discontinuity so we can represent signal xt by the help of three step signals and there is no requirement of ramp signals because in the second property i told you when we have the waveform in which there are discontinuities plus constant values we can represent the waveform by the help of only step signals so here we have three discontinuities and also we have constant values so we can represent signal xt by the help of three step signals now let's see how we can use the shortcut method to use the shortcut method we need to draw some assumptions in this particular case you can see the level of signal is changing for example when t is equal to minus 2 the level of signal was 0 before minus 2 and the level of signal is 3 after minus 2 so the level of signal is changing or we can say the level of signal is switching and in this particular case the level of signal is switching upward so when the level of signal is switching upward we take positive sign so for upward level switching we take positive sign now when t is equal to 4 the level of signal before 4 is 5 and level of signal after 4 is minus 2 so this time again the level of signal is changing and this time it is switching downward so when the level of signal switches downward we take negative sign because we have already considered positive sign for the upward level switching so for downward level switching we take negative sign so these are the two assumptions important for this question now let's see how we can solve it we will again start from the left side of the signal and we will follow this signal flow like this so initially signal xt is equal to 0 but when t is equal to minus 2 you can see the level of signal is switching the level of signal is switching like this and the switch is upward therefore we will have positive sign after 0 and the new flow of signal is like this this is the new flow of signal the new level is 3 the old level was 0 so 3 minus 0 is 3 this is the difference and the step signal will be u inside the bracket t plus 2 because at t equal to minus 2 we are having the level switching so t plus 2 we are done with the first discontinuity now let's deal with the second discontinuity when t is equal to 0 there is again switch in the level and the switch is like this like the previous switch we again have the upward switch but this time the new level is 5 and the old level was 3 so 5 minus 3 will be 2 so we have plus 
2 the positive sign for the upward shift and 2 is the difference between new level and the old level and the step signal will be ut minus 0 because when t is equal to 0 the level is switching so we are done with the second discontinuity and after second discontinuity we have the flow of the signal like this now when t is equal to 4 you can see the level of the signal is switching downward like this from 5 to minus 2 and in this scenario we will take negative sign here I will first represent the flow of the signal after the switching the negative sign is there because there is downward switching and the switching is having the magnitude of 5 minus minus 2 so we have 7 here and the step signal will be ut minus 4 because when t is equal to 4 the third discontinuity is there or the switching of the level is taking place so this is what we have and we can simplify this we will have 3 u t plus 2 plus 2 u t minus 7 u t minus 4 so this is our answer and you can clearly see we have 3 1 2 3 step signals because we were having 3 discontinuities now you can easily solve the questions having both ramp and step signals in the coming presentations I will solve few more examples based on this shortcut method and there we will deal with the questions in which there are both ramp and step signals involved now in this lecture I will give you one homework problem in this homework problem I will give you the signal waveform and you need to tell me the mathematical representation of the signal signal is xt and from minus 2 to 0 this is how the waveform of the signal looks from minus 2 to 0 this is 4 and from 0 to 2 from 0 to 2 signal value remains 4 and from 2 to 3 signal waveform is like this so you have everything to find out mathematical representation of signal xt and once you have your answer posted in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one